Name me a single objective we've ever set out to accomplish that we've failed on. Biden's withdrawal from Afghanistan was certainly one of the low points of his presidency and one of the lowest points of American foreign policy since the fall of Saigon at the end of the Vietnam War. In all of our history, not one. Since Biden took office, there has been a historic surge of people illegally crossing the border. The numbers are the highest in decades. Name me a single objective we've ever set out to accomplish that we've failed on. Last July, Biden said that inflation would be a temporary problem. Fast forward to today, where inflation is rising, not falling. From gas to groceries, Americans are paying higher prices for just about everything. Name me one. It's also been a time of rising crime in many American cities. The explosion of violent crime led to a dozen U.S. cities sadly setting homicide records. Name me one. In October, Biden's attorney general sent out a memo calling on the FBI to investigate, quote, violent threats against school officials and teachers. The reality is that an increasing number of parents fed up with over-the-top COVID policies, mask mandates, and radicalized curriculums are demanding to have a larger say in their children's education. American leadership and respect on the world stage suffered a major blow. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim, and you, Akwa, that believe in all sincerity. As you see here on your screen, it says, name a single objective we set out to accomplish that we failed on. And uh, in the video, a couple points were made. The first one was of, on Afghanistan. Okay, and the U.S., after 20 years, pulled out of Afghanistan, okay, fighting the war on terror only for the Taliban to take over, you know, shortly thereafter, okay. And, you know, that was a failure. You know, here it is, 20 years of war. Um, they take off, evacuate, you know, thousands of people and the Taliban, you know, I think it was after two weeks, um, you know, take over Afghanistan. So that was a failure. Okay. Uh, the video spoke about the border. Okay. They uh, constructed, um, you know, a wall, you know, a fence. Okay. In the U S Mexico border. Okay. But you know, ever since that, they've seen a surge of illegals crossing the border. Okay, and that was a failure. Um, inflation was mentioned and how inflation was only going to be a couple months. But, you know, when we look around, inflation is rising. Okay, okay, from, gra from gas to groceries, uh, it stated Americans are paying higher prices on everything. Okay. Um, crime, crime was stated as well. Okay, and... Uh, many U.S. cities are setting homicide records, okay? So, you know, that's an objective that um, the U.S. has failed on, okay? And last but not least, they spoke about attacks on parents, okay? And we've seen a lot of uh, increase in school shootings, okay? Attacks on teachers and other students, all right? Uh, you know, also, um, it was stated that parents... You know, I've been complaining about over-the-top COVID policies, mass mandates, and radicalized curriculums. Parents have said that they want more, uh, more say in their child's education. Okay, so name me a single objective we set out to accomplish that we failed on. Okay, and you heard Biden um, quote that. But um, everything that they have um, planned to fix or... Uh, as Donald Trump would say, make America great again, they failed on, okay? So you can see Biden at the bottom right here smiling because, you know, they're nothing but uh, uh, liars, you know, and they're full of uh, deceit, okay? That's that's what the the Edomite man is, is, is all about, okay? So let's start here. This is Proverbs 12 and 5. And I like to go into, um, you know, these speeches that these um edomites um do and 
no filtering through the scriptures. This is Proverbs 12 and 5. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. Okay, the counsels of the wicked are deceit. Strong's H, 8458. Tach Buloth. Tach Buloth. Right. And second entry. Tach Baloth. Tach Baloth. Right, counsel. Okay, direction, guidance. Good or wise counsel, you know their their uh, their um, objectives, their 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 speeches. You know when they rally together, you know uh, it's it's deceit. Okay, their purpose, their purposes are full of deceit. Okay, they'll say that they're going to work on America, they're going to do this, but in reality, they're they're in some way. Uh, shape or form um, are doing the opposite. That's how America has always operated. Okay, they say it's a land of, of the home of the free when it was built on the backs of slaves. Okay, and that's that's of a that's a fact. This is the word deceit. 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 The action of practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. Okay. They're, they're concealing and misrepresenting the truth. And that's how they, de they deceive here in America. So the thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. Okay. The counsels of the wicked are deceit. This is uh, Proverbs 12, the same book. And we'll start at 19. The lip of, of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Okay. And, uh, you know, you can't fool you how about shimmy out shy. You know, you, you, you can, as the saying goes, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Okay. Because, uh, the things that they're doing here in America is, is, is idiocracy. It's senseless. Okay. Not, uh, you're not only starting with the government, but also in society, even with people, you know, things are just starting to not make sense. It says, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. It's for a moment, okay? The joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, you see? And they are hypocrites. They say one thing and they do another. Let's get that scripture. I believe it's in um, Job 20 and 5. The triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. You see, it's just for a moment. Okay, the Lord, they established that he made the eye he sees. He sees the hypocrisy of the wicked, which is Esau, Edom. Their triumphing is short. Okay, it, it's for a moment. It says deceit is in the heart or the mind of them that imagine evil. You see, and that's what they do. They imagine evil. Okay, in their, in their uh, you know, heart of hearts. Okay, that, that's, that's what they're imagining because they're full of deceit. But to the counselors of peace is joy. Okay. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. So they're very deceitful because all they do is imagine evil. It's in their power. They're, they're, they're doing everything in their power to help their kingdom be forwarded. Okay. So it's nothing for them to say that they're working on these objectives when in reality they're helping, um, you know, bring them about. Okay. They're, 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 they're really... Uh, do the opposite of what they say, you know, uh, they, they talk about, um, you know, you know, let's just say, uh, the war on drugs, they were really actually selling drugs, you know, back in the eighties. Uh, okay. Uh, who opened the, 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 the floodgates for drugs to come into America, right? The pharmaceuticals, pills, the opioid crisis. Who makes these 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 uh, these pills? You see, it's these big pharma companies, and so on and so so forth. You know, and just like you know, you were in this video and look at their objectives, what they've been saying. They they were involved in these things. So deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. Okay. This is Psalms 36 and 3. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Okay. 
and th- 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 that's exactly, um, you know, what they do. You know, they say one thing, but really the, the, they're, they're speaking of the iniquity that they're doing. Okay. It, it's almost like, you, you know, it's almost like whatever they're saying, they're just doing the opposite. Really. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. So, you know, really they, they're not doing any good. They, they left off to, uh, to be wise. They're up to no good. And they're getting sloppy. They're getting very sloppy, you know. And they're speaking about uh, COVID coming back. You know, this isn't, you know, some group that fell off that can come back and do a tour. No, they're talking about a, a virus. You know, he had left off to be wise and to do good. Yeah, that's that's not wise, you know, of them. You know, why don't they just say we're bringing COVID back? They're not. They're just going to say, oh, COVID is we're seeing a spike and COVID is coming back. Lockdowns and, you know, mandates. It's like, come on. He devises mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. You see, he deviseth mischief upon his bed. They're always thinking about how to uh, take over the world, yeah, how to conquer, how to manipulate, how to control, how to advance their NWO, right? Let's see. We'll get one more. I'm going to make this too long. This is Psalms 59 and 12. This is for the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips. Let them even be taken in their pride. You see, it's, it's what the, you know, the words of their lips, it's what's in their mouth, you know, that, you know, that it's going to ultimately uh, have them judged because they're full of pride. And they think that because, uh, you know, they have the, the power that they can do mischief. They can just constantly think of how to uh, uh, create ways for Israel to fall and stumble, how to deceive the, the other nations and how to be that hammer of the earth. It says, for the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying, which they speak, consume them in wrath, consume them that they may not be. And let them know that the most high ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. Selah, you see. Yeah, consume them in wrath, consume them that they may not be. And let them know that the most high ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. See. And that's, you know, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, rules in Jacob. So they're going to be consumed because, you know, it's, it's really, it's really, you know, the things that they say, you know, they, they are utterly evil. They've left off to be wise and to do good. They're going to be taken for their pride because they curse and they lie, you know. They, they imprecate uh, evil upon the whole world, okay? And, you know, as Biden said, name me a single objective we set out to accomplish that we failed. They're full of pride, you see, and it's for that that they'll be destroyed. Look at the track record. And all this information is coming out. This is a small clip. But even, uh, you know, the small reference to the, uh, you know, the drugs, the small reference to, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the things that they do, um, that I had mentioned, you know, it's evident. It's, it's, it's all coming out. It's being, uh, put out there on the forefront. All right. Okay. And with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, to believe in all sincerity. Shalom.